All right, we're going to cover how to install the CCI chin strap. So there will be two offerings. There will be a retro nylon version used from 1985 all the way to the mid 90s. And then there'll also be the retro OD green Nomex chin strap, two different options. When you buy a chin strap as a loose part, it'll come in a baggie just like this. Everything's coiled up nice and neat. You'll have the long end of the strap where your adjustments are made. And you'll have the short piece. Depending on what you buy, you have two options of connectors. The quick release style, squeeze it, comes apart, and it's quick release. And a postman slide adjuster which is an alligator clip style, spring-loaded, both retro. So take your helmet. If you have an existing chin strap on there, you have to take it off, unweave it, unsnap it, cut it off if you have to. And we'll set this up for a right side pull, meaning if my head goes into this helmet and I want my pull to be on the right side, it's hence a right side pull. If you want to set it up for a left side pull, you do everything we just talked about, on the left side. So, to start with, take your short piece. You have a smooth side. Then you have a tabbed side. Here's your tab. Starting from the inside of the helmet, the tab faces you. Run it through that D-loop and make sure that this little tab right here does not get caught on that D-loop. You want to make sure it runs all the way past it so it's D-loop to D-loop. And then you bring this side back around onto itself through its own D-loop and then pull it clean. You don't want this bunched up against anything else. It just should sit clean like that. Separate your quick release. Take the female side. You have the branded side. Take the short piece of webbing here, stand it straight up, and drop this onto it with this opening facing to the right. Pull it all the way down and then get this part of the connector to sit between this tab, just like that. It sits there, that's all it does. This part is done. You take the long portion, which has the label and has its own tab. When you start with this, take the tab and face it away from you. Feed it through the other D-loop. Pull it all the way through. This label should face towards the helmet. And same thing. Do not let this little tab here get caught on that D-loop. Run it underneath nice and clean. D-loop to D-loop. You're going to take the strap with the tab now facing you and run it through its own D-loop. Now it sits clean, like so. The next step, take your male portion. If this is standing upright, facing to you, you can mess this up by clicking this in either way. The way to avoid messing this up is you've got the branded side of this buckle and you've got a branded side here as well, where there are molding marks. Keep them on the same side. Okay, now bring this inward like so. Take your running end, and if this is facing you, you'll have a left side slot and a right side slot. Now, coming from underneath this connector, inside the helmet, run this underneath 
to the right side like this, pull it out, and then go back in to the left side. And it's on there. And to adjust, you pull the Titan to release. You flip this up a little and then you pull the other end of the strap. And that is your quick release CCI chin strap. Okay, now we'll cover how to install the Postman slide adjuster. Run your short piece of chin strap through the D-loop on this side. Let it sit. Put the running end piece through this D-loop. Through there and let it sit. Your Postman slide adjuster has two slots. We're going to feed this strap through this top slot first. If you're looking at this up and down, top slot, bottom slot. Face it away from you. Take the short piece. Run it through that top slot. And you're going to have to pull all that material through. Shimmy it through as best you can. Okay. Now you end up taking this and double back to that bottom slot. Pull, pull everything through. Now, this is the tab side of the short piece. Here's your tab. Top slot, bottom slot, you have a crossbar. You're gonna take the adjuster and pull the whole thing down so that that crossbar sits in the fold of that tab. That's how that stays in place. There shouldn't be any metal touching skin or your protective equipment. This should be touching you when you have the helmet on. Now you take your running end. And if you weave it through correctly, you'll have the tab facing up. Put some pressure on that spring-loaded mechanism. And from the inside of the helmet out, you're going to feed it through. And you have to pull this through so that this tab clears the spring-loaded mechanism. Just like that. Make sure it sits clean and it's done. To adjust this strap, you've got your little pull tab. You pull and it tightens. To release, finger pressure on this trigger right here. Squeeze it, pull the strap out. All right, we'll put the Cobra buckle on now. Straps are set up the same way as earlier in the video. Take your Cobra buckle, disconnect it. Here's your female side. Short side of the strap. You're going to drop it on like this. So you're writing, your Cobra labels should face down towards the helmet. This is a tight fit too. All right, when you pull it back down, you want the Cobra to be resting into the slip right here. Just like that. And now for the long side, here's the male side of the Cobra. To make this easier so you don't screw up the orientation, just clip this in. You'll have two sides of this. 
where it actually says Cobra for a label, make sure the labels match on the male and the female side like that. This can go in either way, but you want to make sure that the labels are facing the same way. And then from here, you're going to take your strap. Here's your tab. You're going to come in on the right side if you're looking at this buckle like this. So come underneath like so. And just to show the orientation of the strap, here's the label. Pull the strap back so you have your tab facing up here. Come underneath, go to the right side, pull it through, and you're going to come over and go to the left side. So you got to slide this bar down and shove this in there. This will be a tight fit as well. Start with the corner, wiggle it in. When you get to the stitching, you're going to have to pull pretty hard to get it in there. But once it's in, it should just be a matter of tugging it to pull, flip the cobra to the side to release the tension and undo it. And then you can DC it by pulling the wings. And that's it.